And welcome back to part 19 of What If Tsunade Adopted Naruto. So I have to redo this because there was an interruption. Um, but real quick, um, some a couple of people pointed out uh, the, the fact that I had Toby, or uh, Payne in this case, um, send De De a Dedera after the Three Tails. Uh, well, they commented that, you did you kill him? And I'm like, oh yeah, I did. <laughs> The problem is, even if I wrote it down, doesn't mean I'd be guaranteed to check my book. But even if I wrote it down, um, <laughs> I mean, once you get to this many parts in a series, it becomes a little difficult to remember some things. But there's an easy way around it. Basically, they're just going to send Orochimaru instead as a good faith to get the Three Tails, who, remember, is now sealed inside Gurren. So, real quick, just to go over a couple points. A, Kasame is not going after the Eight Tails right now. He's not going after Killer B. Because he, frankly, is, with Sahada just broken, he's kind of, he's not, still not, um, he's not weak, oh, well, he's weakened, but he's not in capacity. He's a powerful ninja even without Sahada. It's just, that's kind of what will give him the edge over the Eight Tails. And Jiraiya dying uh, happens. Naruto is in a funk just like his mom, but he has his mom and his girlfriend and his friends, so he's able to get through that a little bit better and will go train with the Toads. Now, the one of the big chunks... We're basically going to be going over the Pain arc and the uh, uh, Orochimaru versus the Wave arc. Um, is Gurren, it's only been a few weeks since she became a Jinchuriki. I would imagine, though, that because of the type of personality she had and because of her um, association with Orochimaru, she'd be a lot more inclined to bond with the uh, Three Tails, including saying things like, look, there were people after you even stronger than us. And, um, arguably, or arguably stronger than us, and we were able to capture you. You think they wouldn't have been? Right now, this is just, maybe someday we'll, oh, you know, there'll be a time where we can free you. Um, and you know what? And I can completely understand wanting to be free. I've, I've wanted to be free all my life. I'm lucky that I've been actually able to have a sense of freedom now, you know. And I, if I can make it better for you in here, I will. I, I can try that for you. In which, I think the, uh, the three tails would be a bit more accommodating with her. Plus, the coral, uh, the ability to create coral, which is what the Three Tails actually does, it wasn't um, uh, the Mizukage's ability. It was, the, that does come from the Three Tails. Um, the ability to create coral would be an interesting combination with her crystal release. So, meanwhile, she, she's out training, um, and all of a sudden she gets a weird sensation, like something, I have sense, I sense like something I'm not sense since, and she fires a combination of crystal and coral at the spot where Orochimaru shows up. It's like, Ah, Gurren, it seems you've developed quite nicely. You've grown so strong. How proud of you I am. Rochimaru, what are you doing? Oh, I'm... What do you mean, or What do you mean, Gurren? Of why... Why would I be here? Oh, why wouldn't I be here? After all, you... you know, I've cared for you for so long. And you have cared back for me, haven't you? Uh, and you would do anything for me. I... It's like... And she's like, what do you want, Rochimaru? I just want you to come with me, Gurren, so we can... Use the three tails against the Akatsuki. Uh, we, uh, the Akatsuki want the three tails, but we'll use it against them. And get our power, and, and rise to prominence. And she basically just, no, I'm not, I'm sorry, Rochimura, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not, I don't follow you anymore. I found out a home where people actually care about me, and I'm not giving it up, and I will protect it till my, my last breath. Oh, so be it. I was hoping we could do this the easy way, but... Uh, <laughs> It seems you leave me no choice. And, like the, and she even says the grass longsword. Of course, you're not someone I can take uh, take for granted. And she just breaks some crystal, and they go to town. And you, she even says to she calls Kabuto out. It's like, get out of here, Kabuto. If you're gonna at least, if you're gonna watch, at least watch where I at least watch where I know you can see you. It's like, uh, so she figured it out, huh? Huh? She is smart. So yes, yeah, she is, Kabuto. And then they clash. Now, it's a little even for a while, throwing crystals at Orochimaru. He's dodging or slicing through them. He can't fully cut through the crystal. And he sh at one point, she starts to boom. She is able to barely hit him and start uh, to attach some coral, which is like, ah, so that's the Three Tails ability. Uh, but immediately just just falls off because he goes into liquefaction. Because remember, he stole Sugetsu's body. It's like, what? That's a... What kind of technique is that? Oh, something from a, something from a follower. I would have enjoyed adding your body to collection. Perhaps I still will when this is all done. You could be a part of me forever. And now, now she's in a in a bind because she can't physically hurt Orochimaru now. 
The amount of chakra it takes to do that isn't a lot from what we can tell, unless Sugetsu has God knows how much chakra. But it isn't a great deal. Orochimaru has a lot of chakra. Um, so it, it's at one point she's he's about to she goes and she notices something and swings at him again. He immediately turns to look and is like, please, is that the best you can <laughs> what is this? It's like ice. And then there's some sun bones attached to him, and Haku suddenly appears. It's like, and then basically his entire arm freezes off, so he basically has to <laughs> just climb out of himself again. It's like I, I see a member of the Yuki can still lives. Impressive. There are such gems we find are in this village, apparently, Kabuto. Uh, but unfortunately, it's a bit of, it's a bad batch for my liquidification. Could you be a kind lad and take care of her? It's like, of course, Lord Orochimaru. And so it's Haku versus Haku and Gurren versus Orochimaru and Kabuto. Now, it goes about the same with Gurren and Kabuto. Uh, Gurren and uh, Orochimaru. Kabuto and Haku, on the other hand, Haku immediately realizes is that I gotta close the distance and use cho like my chakra scalpels because otherwise Haku's just gonna be able to hit me pressure point by pressure point. And luckily he's able to get a not a direct hit, but like a scathing hit, which does weaken his or Haku's arm. Haku's now in trouble, even though he's using ice release. Orochimaru was helping out too, occasionally throwing attacks out that break his uh, that shadow of the ice. So now these two are in a bit of a bind as the mist grows thicker, as it does, because it's the land of it is the land of wave. The, light, the mist suddenly grows a lot thicker. It's like, oh, so the mist is thickening. Ah, so it seems uh, uh, this game, if, unfortunately, you will not be able to see your own defeat. But it's, but it will still be quite, uh, but it will be, come to you, or sorry, but it will come nonetheless. And then he stops, feels something he rarely feels, massive amounts of killing attempt directed towards him. And he immediately liquidifications and reacts as a giant blade comes through. And then Zabuza just appears, catches it. It's like, so, uh, I thought I smelled a snake. So, you're Orochimaru. I don't think we've actually officially... My Zabuza is a little... Orochimaru. Yeah, um, I know we've never officially met. And then, But Orochimaru knows who Zabuza is, definitely. It's like, ah, uh, Zabuza Momochi. And this... Now he's a bit more like... Oh, now uh, he's he's the guy who's the, ka the, the Kagi of this village. He's one of the seven ninja, and he knows water release. This might be a little bit more difficult. So, I was like, ah, so you I must, I have heard your reputation precedes you, Momochi. I must admit, as a former Kage myself, the task of creating and controlling a village is great. I commend what you've done here. It's like, flattery's not going to save you, you serpent. You, flatter, and flattery won't help, neither will uh, flattery help you, Momochi. And they clash. So it's a clash of blades, grass longsword versus the executioner blade. He does basically the whole extending the blade thing where and his object just blocks it. Uh, you know, he just summons a giant wave of water, gusts the sword, and uh, and then Marchmar uses the liquefaction to absorb it, kind of like Hydra Man's. But Zabuza just uses that water and throws it back, and th he basically is using Orochimaru against himself. Really, Orochimaru realizes that he's in stuck in water form. He basically, Zabuza basically makes a water dragon, and <laughs> Orochimaru has to basically turn into a solid form, but he hits the ground. It's like, Ugh. I must admit, that is impressive. Water Dragon! Rashima! Is that the best you can do, Ramamochi? Uh, and then basically, Zabuza suddenly appears behind him and just pierces him with the blade. Just, uh. <laughs> I must admit, I, uh, I must admit, if I didn't have my body, I would, uh, this body, I might have been killed on that one. It might have actually been lethal. And, and the Roshimaru sees, like, look vacation, you stole the body of a Hazuki. It's, um, it's like, of course, Zabuza. And now, if there's nothing you can do, why do you think I was able to absorb so much water? I figured that was the case. Yes, and now you'll go... Yeah, yeah! And Roshimaru just starts screaming, seeing his body's boiling. He's like, what are you? And then he just looks at Zabuza's blade is glowing red hot. So they say... Think about it. Zabuza, it's not the same village Zabuza was at. And say, you really think I wouldn't know how to counteract the weakness of a, a technique from my own village? <laughs> Basically, he's super he's super eating his blade and of that boiling and evaporating Orochimaru, who immediately has to get out of there. And even though he's in solid form, his whole his body just hurts. His innards are like charred, at least semi. He's, ah, he's confident of like, yeah, you bastard. Kamato, we're leaving! Uh, this is an Mamoche! 
and then he has to get out of there. So they were able to drive them off. Um, and basically they have to go looking at the ruins. What they essentially just did was they embarrassed themselves, not just in front of the wave, but in front of the Akatsuki saying, oh yeah, we got this, don't worry. No, you didn't. <laughs> Um, so yeah, right now they, so they send a message to the Leaf, not Leaf and the Mist saying, yeah, the Akatsuki are coming for the three to the Rochi, we just fought Orochimaru. So meanwhile, back to the Leaf, Pain's coming. Now Sasuke, I think, does have his manga kill. It's pretty uh, certain, because he had it after the whole Tachi, uh, fight, but there was no indication of how he would have gotten, except for the fact that you need the pain of loss, uh, extreme loss, and it usually has to be a best friend or a loved one. And he got it when the Tachi died. I imagine he'd get it again. Now, he is using, he's reading, he, he's probably read like the, uh, the tablet. Uh, and maybe has discovered what Itachi really is aiming for. That, that why he said take his eyes. Uh, is that he's wonder, he's thinking, you want me to gain the eternal Mange Kyo. Uh, but meanwhile, while that's all happening, Pain shows up. Now, most of that's going to go down the same. Except Sasuke will come in to save Kakashi. Um, and probably burning Azura Path to, to scrap, to, to ash. So there is no Azura Path now. They can't save the Azura Path, so they have to make a new one. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Padiva Path still basically raises the entire village. I think Sasuke is able to offset a little bit with a just a sudden emergence of Susano, but it's just not enough because it's just so new to him. And then Naruto shows up. Uh, most of that fight goes down the same, up until we get to the point where... <clears throat> Uh, Naruto gets pinned by pain. He gets pinned by the rods, uh, and he just, uh, you will know pain. It's pain shocker inside me. Just change the, uh, change the wording on that, and you can do some terrible jokes of that. And then, uh, Hinata's, like, uh, Hinata's about to come down, he can, but he can still feel Hinata about to show up. And it's like, Hinata, stay back! And it's like, you don't understand, Naruto, you will know pain. Pain, pain, true pain is what some people, people must know true pain if they are to know true peace. And I will bring them peace, Naruto, by bringing them pain. And I will bring you, and I will bring you pain to you so you will know peace. And basically, Naruto says, that's a load of crap! You think that's what Sensei really wanted? You think that's what Jiraiya, how Jiraiya wanted peace to go? It's like, it does not matter. Or you just, and then he basically, Naruto cuts him off. Or maybe that's just your excuse to justify your actions. So which that does cause Nagato to be like, yeah, it's like he's he's like he's calling him out just a little bit. I'd never thought I'd have to use. I never thought there'd be a day I'd actually have to use this. What are you blabbing about, boy? It's over. Accept your defeat and accept your defeat and come willingly. And it's like yeah, right. And Naruto does something that will be fixed in just a bit, but. Because remember, he has those rods in both hands. He just uh, rips out the rods. And, ah! All of a sudden, he makes a hand sign and basically just release. There's a read Genesis, rebirth, release. Told you that'd pay off eventually. <laughs> um, and all of a sudden, Nard and Pain have to back the hell up. Just, Whoa! What is this? And the chakra, it's just the rods are exploding out of Nard. Do do it heals up. But here's the thing, because it's constantly gathering chakra, and because the fox's chakra is constantly mixing with Naruto's, it's not only uh, getting Naruto's chakra, but it's also getting the fox's chakra at the same time. So when Naruto ultimately goes into that form, you get the cool tattoo seals on there, but you also get the feral fangs, the uh, the heightened um, uh, the heightened whiskers. His hair goes all over. In fact, I think his hair would even gain a little tinge of red. And he, it's, think of what Super Saiyan God kind of looked like with the energy, almost like a flame wrapped around him. Just He's now just, whoo, get the Super Saiyan God music there. Uh, and then, or you get the, Sira, do, 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 And all of a sudden, Naruto's just like, I'll shit, and he's like, I will never back down, because that is, that was my master's way. And that is my ninja way, too. And he's just staring down uh, Payne, who's, this is unexpected. And then Arthur just disappears. <laughs> what? <laughs> and he just... <laughs> and basically, Naruto's now just blitzing his ass. Think of it. Tsunade gave him that seal when he was a kid. Like, not even, at, not even in his double digits. Factor maybe 10 years worth of that on Naruto? 
Ah, uh, that's a lot of chakra and power. And Naruto can shut off anytime he wants to conserve energy. But the amount of chakra he's had build up there, oh, it's coming out. It's coming out in force. So basically now he just says, I ain't a fist! And they like, Shinra Tensei! And then they basically just clash. Naruto just blitzes through their chakras, wind chakra blades, and hits, and just stabs Praetor Path. Praetor Path at this point cannot, uh, Praetor Path, David Path cannot keep up. And he, Naruto just rips him, and just to try to almost rips him to shreds. He's able to barely push him away, but he's still got these now gaping wounds. Granted, he can't feel anything, but still. Naruto then starts throwing Rasengans at him, and at one point he basically channels water and wind chakra into his into his uh, tornado fist, and basically causes a maelstrom. Um, but at the same, but it, it's a maelstrom until he also pulls out the Kiva blades and start and channels what lightning that is in the Kiva blade there, and basically creates a giant freaking hurricane on his head, lightning and all, and just throws basically a force of nature combined with his uh, chakra enhanced form. Right out David Path, and he just keeps throwing it until David Path can't keep Shira tense on, and he just gets engulfed and just <laughs> And he basically, you know, he almost wakes up and then Naruto just uh, comes in and slices his head clean off. Then he basically tracks down Nagato and they have that conversation. that conversation still goes down. And oh and he put the he deactivates the seal, react or reactivates the seal, I should say. Um, resets it. That's a better way to put it. You know, reserving what chakra that he still has left in that form. Plus, you know, anything he can gain later on. So, ultimately, they have that conversation, and it all goes pretty much to plan. Uh, or pretty much, pretty much as it does in a normal story. <clears throat> now, where's Leos? Because we're only at the 16-minute mark. Uh, 17-minute mark. Well, we can speed through a little bit, because we'd pretty much be going into the fourth Great Ninja War at this point. Uh, so, now he's out of commission right now. However, the question will re remain, is Donzo the next Hokage? Unfortunately, I'd say yes, because there was no one else at that meeting that should be, or that shouldn't be at that meeting, or there wasn't anyone who was not at that meeting that should have been. Excuse me. Uh, so that goes about the same. <clears throat> um, base now... With the whole Killer B thing, no one tries to get Killer B at this point. Uh, basically, Toby wants them to wait. Uh, he goes to get uh, the uh, the Nagato's Rinnegan at one point. Kasame is busy just dealing with, you know, uh, basically he's tasked. Maybe he's tasked to get a couple of the stray tail beasts that haven't been acquired yet. Um, eventually, Kabuto and Orochimaru do show back up to Toby, though, who is revealed to be the mastermind behind Okatsuki. And they say it's like you failed to get the three tails. Yes, but we can offer you another, another item of value. What could you possibly offer me after this failure? And then they show them the Edo Tenso, Edo Tensei, and he does get a smile on his face. So you do still have Killer B, Gorin, and Naruto are the only uh, Jinchuriki left. Um, and then you get the whole um, Danzo <clears throat> Kage thing. Uh, where he does manipulate, and because of that, um, he does basically say that, excuse me, I say that, yeah, he would have chosen Donzo, uh, had he not been trying to manipulate him. Unfortunately, though, that actually wouldn't have worked, because, uh, what was his name, Ao? Ao basically pointed that was Byakugan. So, ultimately, Raikage still gets, uh, nominated the leader of the, uh, the Ninja Army, uh, Sonata does eventually wake up, and basically we're now, our last episode is probably going to be in the Ninja War arc. So, on Saturday, I'm pretty much going to plan it out to be that's the last episode of this. We're going to probably end it on 20. Uh, but we'll see what honestly happens. Thanks for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. I just ruled win. Star Wars, Severe Magic, what if anything I do on the channel. Put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. So I got who would win. I'm going to try something new with who would win. So keep your eyes out for it. <clears throat> God. Uh, so keep your eyes out for it. But yeah, I'm going to try something new with it. And uh, I'd like to get your feedback on it. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in a little bit. I actually got one more video to do besides that too. Because the next Smowdown just dropped. So... Keep your eyes out for that reaction, too. Bibiani versus Roka. Woo-hoo-hoo, that's going to be fun. Uh, and I got one. Uh, and I picked up a whiteboard and a dry erase uh, marker, too. So I can do that legit now. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.